Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I want to do a quick video on a piece of retro tech that I've had actually for quite a while, and really wanted to show like what makes this kind of a unique PC. It's a Lenovo Idea and Setter all-in-one PC, and as you see here, it has a nice profile, keyboard, mouse, and very thin profile. It's literally, that's it. It's just a kind of like you can kind of consider it like an iMac in a, in a way. And the reason I'm kind of doing this video is because I don't really see a lot of videos about um, this type of machine. Now, this machine or this model is from 2016. And so it is somewhat a little bit out of date in the sense that you can't really update it to Windows 11. In fact, uh, the specs on it is purely just for Windows 10 at, at this point. Um, but, you know, I'm a hardcore Mac user. And, and so why did I actually kind of even, you know, showing off this machine. Well, I want to show what makes it kind of cool. Um, I mean, first and foremost, it has a lot of features on it that I, you know, didn't really utilize much when having this PC. Um, some of the things that you kind of don't really notice here is that it has a really nice webcam in there. And something that I kind of didn't really notice uh, was off to the side. Where's the button here? I didn't even realize all this time it had a DVD uh, CD-ROM drive uh, on it. So to me, that's something that I, I never really kind of took advantage of. And it's kind of great that it has like a burner on it. So if I needed to burn like ROMs or, you know, as you know, for, for my channel, I basically play a lot of retro games and use a lot of emulators. So had I had known that there was a DVD player or sorry, a DVD CD burner on this machine, I, I probably would have used it a lot more actually for burning ISOs. Um, the big feature that I really like to kind of highlight here is the fact that it's like touchscreen. So I'm just going to open up there, uh, Microsoft Edge. And um, one of the things that I kind of just want to call is that like, I really want to kind of just keep this machine pretty bare. Like I, I don't really download a lot of apps on it. Um, in fact, the only kind of um, I even put Microsoft Office on it. The only thing that I'm really kind of just using is uh, Microsoft Edge. And I won't even use Chrome uh, because basically Microsoft Edge is more or less uh, the same technology or same kind of um, framework as like Chrome. I know that's like kind of simpl <laughs> me simplifying it. And as you notice, like here, hold on. I don't know why Microsoft Edge isn't really starting. Let me just double click it, right? Um, now, in terms of the the processing power, it's not it's not powerful. It's, it's definitely not a powerful machine. But what I did was I, I literally wiped this machine of everything I had had on it. So I took out um, literally like all the programs. I took out all my documents, and what you see here is literally it. I primarily think this is a great machine for web browsing, um, and it definitely like keeps up to par uh in terms of like modern internet per se hold on i don't know what this oh just less than a few seconds after i just kind of stopped the video it actually uh finally got the browser going and as you can see here it brings up bing um you know I, I kind of not using google on this one now one of the reasons like why i really needed a pc you know coming from like a hardcore mac user um was because i am a gamer and specifically a retro gamer and so there's a lot of stuff that you can only do with a pc uh in terms of like setting up your retro games that you can't do with a mac um biggest example that i actually needed uh this pc for was i actually need to update um my xbox one x to a uh or upgrade my xbox one x to an s to a bigger and larger uh, SSD. Now, in order for me to do that, I actually need to uh, pull up some scripts that I can only get for Windows, and I don't know how I would have done that on a, on a uh, Mac machine. Um, and so it's really great to have a Windows machine specifically for just getting a lot of, um, I would say, scripts and ISOs and just applications that are really kind of only made for Windows for just kind of doing retro gaming, you know, activities. And, you know, I'm kind of just going to show, you know, let me just pull up YouTube per se, see how, show you how fast it kind of loads. Now, um, 
it does load sometimes like i guess like you know once i kind of first initially turn on my machine as you saw it does kind of can be a little bit slow sometimes however once it kind of fully you know warms up this machine is is fairly fast and fluid for web browsing so let me go look up one of my videos carnegie uh carnegie hall final fantasy and show you one of the videos that i just did here's one it's in 4k i don't think this machine actually does 4k lord that's so why i don't get copyright protection um oh it actually does it can actually film in 4k or um w watch in 4k so here's this video in 4k so you can kind of see it kind of stutters a little bit i'm gonna let let it load up um, there is some buffering as you can see on the machine, but after it kind of warms up, it's, it's able to render, uh, and buffer just, just nicely. Now, um, again, I really love this machine. I think it looks really sleek. I think the, the screen display itself, it really has a lot of, you know, very nice vivid colors. And, um, you know, again, as a basic simple machine for just doing, you know, simple web browsing, email, word processing, Excel, this machine works great. You know, this is really just for like, you know, the person that just needs to do really just work, not doing any kind of crazy multimedia type stuff. And, you know, especially for someone like me who has, you know, very limited resources and you're fortunately kind of buying computers on a budget this actually has served me quite well again like i got this machine in in 2016 it's now 2022 and so i you know i've gotten like six years as the machine and i definitely feel that i can get another few more years out of it um definitely think i can push a decade on this uh just kind of again just doing more sim simple task and um you know would i recommend this to anyone kind of looking for a pc uh yeah, I, I guess I would because again, like this PC at the end of the day is a very small footprint. As you can see here, it's a small profile. It has a lot of ports on it. As you, it has um, a lot of USB ports on it. It has even an SD card reader. And uh, a really cool thing is you can actually use this computer as a uh, secondary display. So let's just say, for example, you have a Mac mini and you want to use this actually as your screen, uh, you can. And this is actually a really good 4K screen, um, or it can get resolutions up to 4K. So I just thought that was like pretty cool that, you know, long after like the PC has kind of like, or the machine PC parts in it have run its course, this still actually makes for like a great secondary screen for another computer that you may have. And on top of it, again, has lots of ports, has a CD DVD drive on it, uh, has touchscreen capability, has a webcam. And, you know, it goes uh, all the way up to Windows 10, up to the latest service pack. And, you know, with that in mind, you know, I don't think Windows is, um, or Microsoft is going to end their Windows 10 support anytime soon. So this machine should last you quite a bit. And I guess in my overall kind of final, you know, recommendation, like, it's like yeah, if you see one of these machines out there, definitely do pick it up for you know i definitely think like right now probably the price that you would pay for it is no more than a hundred bucks uh flat out but it's worth it i think like you know if you completely just wipe the hard drive start refresh you know factory reset the machine this is a very good pc don't let that you know initial buffering stuttering that you saw in the beginning of my video kind of scare you like i actually do quite a bit in this on this machine in terms of like you know writing a lot of reports and i think you know, it's it's a fantastic PC that, especially for those with limited resources and on a budget, it can get you really far and you'll be able to kind of take on a lot of things. Now, again, this isn't a machine for creative types. This is really a machine for office workers. And with that in mind, like, it gets the job done. Anyways, uh, this is Neon Polygons. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of just uh, a brief overview of what you know, the capabilities of this of this desktop. But to me, it's really special because of how much functionality it really has, yet it was surprisingly a low-cost PC, even at the time of its release. 
and even up to now you know six years later looks wise it it holds up fairly well and you know just even especially on the display as you can see uh it's still quite remarkable and especially if you're using microsoft edge as your browser this will you know pretty much get you far anyways guys this is neon polygons uh thanks again for watching any questions leave them in the comments below and catch you all again soon